Hello, my amazing artists. Today we're going to continue working on our 3D unit and make some 3D foil sculptures. Today as artists, we're going to use our hands as we explore new ways to make 3D sculptures. You're going to need about a square size of aluminum foil, a sharpie or marker to draw on, and some scissors. On the bottom side, you're going to find the middle, right there, and draw a line part of the way up, not all the way. And then same on the side, find the middle, draw a line, find the middle on the other side, and draw a line. And then on the top, you're going to draw two lines about equal distances from the side. So you should have one line coming from the bottom, one line from each of the sides, and two lines coming from the top on your foil. Then we are going to cut on those lines. Do not cut all the way. We still will have only one piece of foil, but just cutting little slits into our foil. So we are turning this into the head, the top part. The two top sides will be the arms, and the two bottom parts will be the legs. Now we can slowly start pinching really softly. We don't want to press too hard to create the different parts of our body. So going nice and slow and not going too hard so that we don't rip our tin foil. We can form the arms and the legs, and then we can form the head and the body. Once I have the basic shape, I can add more tin foil to make thicker parts of the body. And then I can start forming it better by bending it, thinking about where the knees and elbows and hands and feet are. I can play around with the position the body is in and even make it look like it's playing with other things like a soccer ball. I could also turn it into an animal by changing the positions of the legs and the arms and adding things like a tail. This one got ears and a tail and an eyes and mouth added. So great. Remember to think about the shapes as you're creating them and to gently squeeze your foil sculpture so you don't accidentally rip it. Can't wait to see what you're going to make. <sighs> Ugh. Words are hard.